We're here with Omaha Creighton Prep head coach Tim Yonk. Coach, obviously, um, you guys had a really good team. Came on late, strong in the year. Um, didn't get to where you want to go, but you have a great nucleus of kids coming back. Talk about last year and kind of where you're headed in next year. Yeah, we played, you know, I thought we played really well last year. We had a really young team at the beginning of the year. Um, I think we really found our, our traction midseason and really played well the last five, six weeks of the, of the regular season. Um, won a district championship, something hadn't been done since 2008 at Creighton Prep, which is really hard to believe, actually. And so that was a wow. major goal for us. Yeah. Um, and so we won the district, you know, by beating a really good Lincoln East team and, and Noel Walters and really, really dominated that football game. And, and uh, you know, and kind of stubbed our toe in the, in the playoffs. And that was really disappointing. And I know this group that we have coming back is, um, I think it's a, it's, it's a motivation for them um, because they felt like we truly, I, I felt like we had a team that was good enough to, to make a run last year. And I think we'll, we're better this year because of all the experience. Um, but I think they're, they're highly motivated. Yeah, and, and you're going to be led by one of the best linemen in the state, Sam Sledge. And, I mean, he's now a Nebraska commit. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you've, you've known Sam since he was a, probably in diapers, I'm guessing. Uh, Very little, yeah, when <laughs> Sam was, uh, and then he was our, it, and he was never really little. Uh, so, I mean, when he was our ball boy when I started at, at Gross, and, and uh, he was our ball boy all the way through. And then when I came to prep, he, you know, he had some decisions to make because I, you know, I brought his dad on as the offensive line coach who, who's been with me, you know, since I, I was at Gross. And so, um, you know, to have him in, in our program and be successful and now see him as a Nebraska commit is pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. What, what does he do? I mean, when you look at his skill set, like what do the coaches really like about Sam? Well, I mean, they just like his, his overall athleticism. I mean, he's, uh, he's a multi-sport kid. Um, he's played, you know, baseball, basketball. He's wrestling now. And, and so, I mean, his feet are really good. I mean, he has, um, you know, he's got good size. I think he's going to continue to, to grow. Um, but all the, everybody likes him as a, an interior lineman, guard, center, um, and, and primarily center a lot of people just because of that athleticism. Yeah, do you think Riola and Nebraska could really see him as a center there down the road? I think that in talking with Donnie Riola, I think that's really where they see him being a, and starting down there in terms of when he gets down there, really pushing the envelope with him and, and uh, you know, and potentially maybe playing early down there for a kid like that. And his weight, too. I mean, he's done a really good job of managing it. Like, it's just a, a very healthy weight. Yeah. And, and he'll get to 300 eventually, but like, I mean, how has he really kind of grown his body since he's, you've had him? Yeah, very much so. I mean, he works really hard at it in the weight room. I mean, as, as all our kids do, it's a priority for us. And, um, you know, he wrestles, which helps, I think, in terms of keeping him um, lean, you know, and, uh, but he works really hard at it, even through wrestling and through football. I mean, we lift during the season and during football season, he lifts during wrestling and so the spring will be really big for him to to really get back in the weight room and get into a four-day really serious off off-season program and then shamar i mean there's right now eight kids i think in nebraska with offers and he's probably the next best guy that doesn't have an offer i mean yeah. what, what do you think of shamar and, and and what he's meant to you and it's got to be coming pretty soon for him i would think yeah i mean he's a pretty special running back and uh i mean he kind of you know came on the scene last year and, and i think you know, everybody knew that he was pretty good, and then he really displayed that as the year went on. And um, you know, a lot of people like him; they want to see him at camp. Uh, he's got great size. I think he's got above-average speed. I think that's probably the one thing that might hold some people back a little bit. But um, really good downhill runner, really good hands. Um, it's really natural in terms of running the football. And then you know, moving through the rest of your guys here. I mean, John Pargo is another kid that's played a lot of football for you. Yeah. Um, what do you like about John Pargo? I love John because he's, uh, he's a physical kid. He's, he can really run. Um, we moved him to safety last year from outside linebacker, and so there was a little bit of a learning curve for him moving to, to safety. And so um, he got a little bit of a late start in terms of how well he played. And by midseason, he was really playing good football for us. Um, led us in interceptions. He had four block punts. I mean, he does a lot of things for us. Um, he's going to do some things on offense for us, too. I think we're going to move him into the slot and have him play some slot receiver as well. And then uh, Cole Jarrett, uh, another one of your big alignment kids, about 6'2", 265, 270. 
Um, what do you have in mind for Cole Jarrett next year? Yeah, Cole's is our starting left guard. Um, started at tackle the year before as a sophomore, so he brings a lot of experience back as well, as, well, as we do it in our entire offensive line. Uh, but Cole, I, I like Cole. He's, he's kind of a road grader type guy, you know. Um, South Dakota State has been uh, in contact with him pretty heavily the last year or so, and uh, he likes them. And so some of those FCSs have really uh, been interested in him. And, uh, but he's a good leader, um, really smart kid, and uh, again, uh, one of those kids that we can really count on running the ball behind. And then Rocco, and I talk about another top guy without an offer. He's probably maybe right up there too at 6'5", 244 today. Um, I mean, he's got everything on paper that you want to see. I mean, what do you like about Rocco? Yeah. It's oh, I, just love for him. I just loved his untapped potential because he's so long, he really can run. Um, he, he, for a big kid, he can really, really run. Hadn't played a lot of offensive line, and so we played him in the, at right tackle last year. And again, about halfway through the year, he kind of everything started clicking for him and really played well. Um, also started on defense for us at defensive end too. And I think that's, you know, he, he could play either side of the football in terms of college, but I think defensive end is probably a spot that I see him uh, having a really good chance. But his length, people love his length, and they want to see him at camp this summer. And and I think. I think by the, by summer's end, I think he'll have uh, he'll have some power five offers. Yeah, I mean he's got the measurables. I mean people yep. just want to see a little bit more. It's kind of your totally. Uh, and then Dean um, will be maybe your quarterback this year. I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean he's competing hard. I think he's you know he's the kid out of out of the group of three that we have that are that are competing for that job. That are, have uh, have had some Division one people contact me because he does play some seven on seven, and so um, he can make all the throws. He's a big, long kid. Um, was a transfer for us, so he played a lot of JV last year. Broke his wrist, though, halfway through the year, so it kind of kind of hurt his development a little bit, but uh, he's had a great off season, and I think, uh, he, you know, in terms of making throws and, and throwing the football, he can really do that. Um, and so we'll see that quarterback job will be uh, a great competition throughout the summer for sure. And then uh, Ford is another guy, um, you know, on your team, a 2023 kid, 6'3", 195, kicker, punter. Yep. Um, and you've seen a lot of good kickers in the state this year. He's one of them. Yeah, for sure. And he's really worked hard at it. I mean, he's he's gone on the, the, the whole Coles circuit in terms of punting and kicking and uh, really, really has worked hard at his craft. But he is a long kid with long levers really uh, really has improved in terms of that and so um, I know and, and he's going to a couple junior days and been invited to a few few of those I think Minnesota I think has invited him up there so I think he's he's got some interest there and I think in terms of a dual kicker punter guy I think he's uh, he's got to be one of the best in the state for sure and then finally uh, your inside linebacker fullback George um, you know comes in about six foot 210 215. Yeah, George is a super smart kid. He's uh, getting a lot of Ivy League interest right now, actually, because uh, that's kind of where he would like to go. Dartmouth is a place I think he's really kind of looked at. Had a tremendous year last year for us. Um, he'll probably end up starting at, at middle linebacker for us, too, um, as well as at fullback. But super smart kid, super physical, and one of our best leaders for sure. So um, he's a kid that's got a chance, uh, if he finds the right program, um, to, 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 to kind of you know, especially at that fullback spot, because he's really athletic, um, to, to kind of find his niche if he can find the right, right program for that fit. Well, Coach, we appreciate you coming out today. Thank you. You bet. Thanks a lot.